global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Good evening, everybody. Look who we got. We got Cole and Chelsea. Yay! Specifically, had to read, had to wait to do this intro because Chelsea was doing her hair, and I'm in work pants because they picked these this girl up and brought her here. Because I thought stowaway this week. You're, yeah, you're just a stowaway all week. I thought I was going to stay really late at work today, but I didn't. I just I changed my plans for tomorrow, so I'm here now. But because of that, I have work pants on and work shoes, so I look like a dapper businessman today. But we're gonna we're gonna eat lots of food, right? Woo! We're doing flowering garden for we're, real this time. For real. Because we haven't really done it since the first day it opened. We, we have not thrill. really done it. First step. Gotta get Beverly. Club cool. I'm not getting Beverly. <laughs> no. All right, Cole came with a great idea. We're all gonna do the Beverly together. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So like flower and garden. Such a bad one, Swallow. It's like eating a the bubble. It's the bile aftertaste that lingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like we're doing a real shot. Like no, I gotta get more. All right, since I came here from the office and Sarah came here from the house, we're literally eating dinner here, I guess. So today's first item on the menu, seared scallops. Fresh green beans, butter, potatoes, brown butter vinaigrette, and apple wood smoked bacon. And I cannot talk, 650. Look at these seared scallops. Ooh, they look so good. I'm ready for those potatoes and the green beans. Dig in, try a scallop. Try a scallop first. Chelsea copied and got the same thing. I think she said she got an iceberg. No, they're It should like, be super tender. They are super really tender. tender. Leave a comment down below if you are loving Cole's beard, because I love it. <laughs> I'm being serious, Chelsea. No, I love it too. I really do. It's gotten much thicker since the last time we saw him. Yeah, it's growing out, not down. I like that though sometimes. For that length, don't grow it long like that. What is it? More vinegar on it. It's got it's a vinegar good. on it. It's really good. I didn't know. It's, it's not good? Cold. We keep getting the same thing. <laughs> yeah, we keep getting the same thing, but we stopped at UK to get some a, a first round of beers, but we both got the, what is it called? The shrimp, oh we got the shrimp and grits. With corn relish. But we put the corn relish for us on the side. It's supposed to come on, the, on it like that. It's yummy. But Sarah hates corn, so we put it on the side. She's gonna try it. But they did say that the corn makes the spiciness. It's not the shrimp, it's the corn that adds the spunk. In the relish. That's pretty, oh my god, the grits are really good. Yeah. It's super good. Do you like the corn or no? Mm -hmm. Do you want to put it on top of it or do you want to do it? Okay. And I got what's called a snake bite here. What's a snake bite? She works at a bar, so that's why I asked her. No, I just drink them a lot here. <laughs> half hard lager and half uh, strong one. All right, we're back at the smokehouse, getting my absolute favorite. The burnt ends for the third time of Flower and Garden. Third! Like, so, gosh. Cole asked for no pickle. Look how big they made his. That's unreal. It's unridiculously large. Look at how little mine is. That is, that's a meal right there. That is a meal. Look Go at to a restaurant and ask for a meal like this, you're not gonna get it. And that was ask like, for no pickle, you get more. That's like 725. That's the secret trick to Disney World food. Ask for no pickle and they'll give you double the amount of meat. the pretzel bread, which I feel like would be good, but I feel like the Is cheese. Is that like honey mustard on it or something? That and the cheese needs to be freshly melted. Sarah just realized that she does not have her phone, and we're not sure where it is. There, it's opening. Go check, go check, go check. Okay, Sarah, Chelsea saw it. It's in those doors, but those are automatic doors. You have to wait for them to open. I'll take the backpack. Hey, Sarah. What? You're a goon. It's still the vlog because I shut down everything to do with the vlog. You did it for the vlog? We are gonna win. Our car's gonna beat theirs. Oh, no. 
I hope somebody doesn't this pocket a, it. Actually, I feel like this is a tactic to stall us from winning. This is all of our cars are going to be erased by the time we get up there. Please step away from the yellow line. Do you got you it? Can hear them announce that. Can We're totally going to beat them. You're going down. You guys are way too happy. Because it's all about the stats. It's always hot right here. It smells like old test track right here. Um, I forgot it's an over the shoulder for the size. <laughs> We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Here comes the final test. Oh, baby. Popping up in each section, so we're gonna see now. Bump yours. 214! Right there. We need one of the girls to bump. Chelsea! Whoever bumped it, bump it. The moment of suspense. Bump it, bump it, bump it. Ah, we beat him! Four, 14. Good. Close call. <laughs> Little update. Cole and Chelsea left. It's all right. It's all right, but they live further away and they're actually gonna go visit Kristen on the way home at an alehouse and we were already buying food at uh, Flower and Garden and I wanna go on a run tonight because I didn't go on a run yesterday. So we're actually even pushing it by going to do illuminations, but we're gonna do illuminations. Or do you want to come home after Chelsea? I'm just so nervous that they're gonna take away illuminations. I wanna see every opportunity. I don't know. There goes Spaceship Earth. Take your time. So we decided. Oh, uh, we decided to go home, not see illuminations, because we realized that if we went home and I went on a run, I could be done with the run by like 11 or 11:30, and then maybe we get to like spend like five minutes together before we go to bed, probably around midnight. Whereas if we saved for illuminations. We wouldn't get home until 10, I wouldn't go on my run until like 10.15, I wouldn't come back till like midnight, then I would shower and get ready for bed, it would be like 1 in the morning, so even though it's like an extra 30 minutes, it's it like compounds as the night goes on. So we're gonna go home, plus Chelsea's mom gave us Easter an Easter gift and we haven't seen Chelsea since Easter, so we got Thin Mints at home. Ooh, and you got coffee. And coffee grounds, so I gotta go home, and we'll show you those when we get home. This is how you get Eve super good. I got like a taco, a baby slash taco at the same time. Are you a baby slash taco? She's so sleepy. She was sleeping while we were gone. She usually sleeps later because we usually get home later. Well, well, well. Look who it is. She's so cute. <laughs> yeah, you're so cute. You can't just keep us in here. No, it always says that. Prisoners. Listen to us. Come out of his. No, 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 you're listening to me. We're home. We came home earlier so I could go on a run, and I did. Got a nice uh, five mile run in. It was beautiful weather out, so I like kicked the butt. Um, I don't know what's going on with Sarah, but she's right here. Just laying on the ground. You okay? I was playing with Eve. You were playing with Eve until I came out and I stole her? Did I don't know, I've always taken the carpet to sleep on. She, uh, she always, you put her on the carpet on the ground and she falls. Yeah, my hair is so crazy. Like, at my mom's I would like get out of my room and like lay in the landing above the stairs. She'd think I was getting ready for school, but I'd be asleep in the landing. I would just sleep. Oh, Eve, snuggling up on the couch, I see. Next to your iPhone and your, your fuel rod, you're normal. You're a genuine Disney park girl. Not signing off because usually we sign off with this background going on, but I wore this hat post shower just for a particular story. This hat was from Chelsea 
because she went to Kent. And her mom, being the super nice, awesome mom that she is, sent us, or gave us, uh, gave sent Chelsea an Easter gift for us. It was just a sweet little bag. Thin mints. I don't even care that I'm on a diet. I'm going to eat them because they're delicious. But this is where it's at. Now, my fellow Ohioans, Ohioan? Ohioans? Ohioans? How do you, what are you? If you're from Ohio, what are you called? Like, you're Floridian, but she knows I'm obsessed with coffee, and so she sent us this, this right here from Kent, Ohio. And look at the cool bag, and there's a squirrel in there because they're known for their black squirrels, but it's whole bean, and it smells delicious. And it's just handwritten on there. Peru Black. I know I said it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again because I'm still coping with it, but I was gonna work from home tomorrow, but I got, um, I gotta go in the office and get some things done, so. I will probably, maybe Saturday morning, get up and grind some of that. And I might do French press because all of you guys gave me some great feedback on how to properly use a French press because I wasn't using the right kind of grounds. I was using pre-grounds, like pre-ground up grounds that were too fine. Um, but I've learned now through your hints that I'm supposed to do a coarser grind and then use the French press. So that Scribbles Coffee Company, Peru Black, Sunday morning, we got a date. I'm just saying I'm like the luckiest because I'm chilling on my couch with my favorite movie on about time I got one little sweet right here relaxing let me pet her and I got one sweet over there relaxing on the ground probably asleep so I should probably go to bed but I think I'm just gonna enjoy this movie and enjoy this couch here Definitely suggest watching this movie about time. Fast forward like 20 minutes and now I'm on this chair. And Sarah's moved onto the couch instead of the ground. And she's upgraded to a pillow and a blanket. And Eve got some treats to get her to keep calm. Calm. Because she was freaking out. I don't know why I ever think it's a good idea to watch that movie late night on the couches. We both fell asleep on the couches. It's 3.45 in the morning. I'm going to get the girls woken up and get us to go to bed. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a fun weekend. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.